She makes her living helping to combat the California drought. It's time for this week's STEAM profile. And our focus today is science. CBS 2's Amy Johnson introduces you to a chemist working to make ocean water drinkable. Across the highway from the beach in North San Diego County, ocean water splashes in to begin the complex process of converting ocean water into drinking water. We have our bar racks, which we can see as the water is flowing through. Meet Michelle Peters, technical and compliance manager for Poseidon Water. I help oversee the day-to-day -day operations for the Carlsbad desalination plant. Partly because of the state's large population and partly because of ever-increasing heat waves, California is short on water. The search for solutions has never been more urgent. We're standing right on top of our intake area. Michelle is at the forefront of the effort to convert seawater into tap water through desalination. Desalination is essentially the process of removing salts. Before that happens, water moves from the ocean to a lagoon. From there, it travels through a series of fences and filters. The first step, block the fish. We have our bar racks, and then we'll move on to the next step. Pumps push the water up to the plant. Early in the process, the big stuff, like sea sludge, gets trapped. Then... We have 20 micron filter cartridges. That's where you start getting rid of those, rid of those impurities that you can't see to the naked eye. Things like parasites, viruses, bacteria, and... Salt cannot get through this. Water moves through tightly wound polymer cartridges, dozens and dozens of sections of them. At each step in the process, samples have to be taken and tested. And those are some of our sample lines. We monitor each of those daily. Of all the STEAM disciplines Michelle relies most on, science. A passion of hers since childhood. I was always asking the question why. Why something happens, why it's this way. And what she could do about the problems we face. We are still in a very large drought and trying to find alternative ways for water production and ways to conserve as well. Michelle got her degree in chemistry and started off as an intern here. Five years later, she now helps run the plant. I find myself referencing a lot of my chemistry degree in water treatment. The final step, once salt and impurities have been filtered out, run the water through limestone chips. We actually want to add some of those good minerals back into the water, which is what makes the water perfect. Michelle's advice to anyone who wants to study science to help improve our environment, when you run into trouble. Take a step back, take a deep breath, ask for help to learn in a way that's approachable for you. It's not going to be the same approach for every person. That's a critical thing to know. You have to do what works for you. Well, for more on STEAM careers, just go to cbsla.com slash STEAM. Well, I'm so glad somebody's working on that because we need it. Mother Nature sometimes is not doing uh, as much as we'd like it to be, right? No, she kind of works on her own time. <laughs> That's right. I'm Alex. <laughs>